Hi, we are Jun Sung Kim and Yuji Kim, and we will be presenting our paper HDR plan of cells, self-calibrating high dynamic range radiance field. This is joint work with Yebin Moon and Taeyeon Oh. Dynamic range is a sensible range of light intensity. Unlike human eyes that can see a very dark and a very bright light at the same time, camera sensors have limited dynamic range which causes saturations. To overcome the limitation, HDR reconstruction method has been studied. However, previous studies can recover only for fixed reference views, so for practical usages, we expand HDR reconstruction to 3D volumes. Recently, volumetric rendering techniques such as Planox cells have been introduced, showing overwhelming performance on novel view synthesis but their performance becomes extremely poor on varying camera input. HDR Planox cells overcome the limitations of previous method and leverage their advantages. From LDR images with various camera settings, HDR Planox cells simultaneously learn HDR radiance field and physically meaningful values of camera settings, such as style, exposure, and white balance. We can render novel view HDR images and stylized images into the desired camera setting. For this, we serially connect the tone mapping part to separate the in-camera pipeline and induces volume rendering part to output HDR value. And similar to Platoc cell, whole components are optimized end-to-end -end by minimizing photometric loss between rendered color and LDR ground truth. The tone mapping module consists of a white balance part that scales HDR irradiance and a simple nonlinear camera response function. White balance scale parameters are merged with exposure to avoid the scale ambiguity between them. And we parameterized the nonlinear camera response function with a discrete piecewise linear function. And we applied additional regularization to stabilize the optimization process. When optimization speed of tone mapping does not match the spherical harmonics coefficient of plant cells, it hinders this entanglement between irradiance and photometric conditions. Spherical harmonics regularization schedules to optimize low frequency first and incrementally weight high frequency. Applying such regularization shows more consistent radiance results. Now, let's explain about experimental results. Our method mitigates limitation of baseline with varying camera conditioned images that could not be served before. Next, with this over or under saturated point, Image features like color and shape cannot be verified. However, our HDR Planox cells can restore these saturated regions and show comparable reconstruction results compared to HDR ground truth. In addition, our method shows fine-grained details compared to NERF A and proper color rendering compared to ADOP counterparts. Finally, controllable rendering of radiometry condition is also possible. By controlling the overall scale of white balance part, we can change the exposure. By controlling the element-wide scale of white balance part, we can also change the white balance. These videos are HDI Mobile View Synthesis Results on our synthetic dataset and Results on our real datasets. To summarize, we conduct an end-to-end -end HDI radiance field learning method with only LDR images of the bearing camera and without additional camera information like exposure value. We designed the tone mapping module based on a physical camera imaging pipeline. Lastly, we build and deploy a multi-view dataset containing varying camera conditions. Thank you for listening, and for more details, please check the project page of the QR code.